as they head towards the water jump. Gullin Bursty over by a length or so from Menorah. Hunt Ball moving alongside Rolling Aces and traveling a little better now. And Maggio is last of the five. So Gullin Bursty still with this lead as he approaches the fence that he made there at a circuit or so ago. And Menorah out jumps the leader there and jumps to the front. Menorah, who's traveled very strongly and so far jumped accurately, is asked up at the middle of the railway fences. Gullin Bursty second. Hunt Ball still held together in third place. Menorah's got into a really nice rhythm this afternoon. Maggio clouted that at the back. And leaving the back straight, Menorah and Richard Johnson, three lengths clear from Gullin Bursty, who in turn is three clear from Hunt Ball, who now is being asked by Barry Geraghty to close down. He's beginning to close on Gullin Bursty for second place. And these three have now gone away. So Menorah has travelled supremely well throughout. Hunt Ball was the first off the bridle, but is sticking to the task, being brought wider by Barry Geraghty as they make the run over towards the pond fence. They are wide apart, but Hunt Ball is trying to get to Menorah. Gullin Bursty back in third. Menorah still will have a healthy lead over three out. Didn't jump that as well, but that manoeuvre by Hunt Ball didn't really appear to pay off because he's now looking leaden footed outside. Gullin Bursty there, well away now from rolling aces. And Menorah his to lose, really, as they approach the second last. Again asked up, again delivers a big leap. Gullin Bursty and Hunt Ball are toiling in Menorah's wake. And Richard Johnson, Philip Hobbs, and Menorah come down towards the last. This is the final fence. Menorah, exemplary so far, pops over the last, far more economically and less flamboyantly, but all important, it was safe. Gullin Bursty, Hunt Ball and Rolling Aces are the next horses chasing up their hill, but Menorah really has put his jumping together today and an exceptional sped of jumping down the back has won the race. Menorah. On to the next five out coming up. Menorah and champion jockey Richard Johnson. Another pinpoint accurate jump. Josses Hill second. Traffic fluid a little slow. Over the last in the back straight. Menorah again absolutely perfect over the last down the back. From Josses Hill traffic fluid now is sent after the two leaders. Then Vibrato Valtat in third in fourth place. Third intention behind these as they now make the long run towards the pond fence art Moresque completely out of contention well menorah leads again at sandown menorah by two three lengths can he win for the fourth year running in this bet 365 oaksy chase and he's got them at it traffic fluid in second under pressure and then joss's hill here's three out the pond fence menorah over safely by four or five lengths to joss's hill traffic fluid back in third making heavy weather it now and menorah turns for home with a growing advantage approaching the second last menorah and richard johnson has to shorten up not his best effort but he's 10 lengths clear now of traffic fluid and then Joss's Hill and third intention and Vibrato Valtet the final fence coming up for Menorah can he get over it safely he meets it spot on Menorah he's safely over this handsome beautiful horse a chasing matinee idol up the hill traffic fluid giving hopeless chases second Menorah is getting a bit tired the advantage is being dwindled away but up to the line Menorah for a fourth win in the Oaksy middle of the railways Alpha off back in fifth position. Uh, Menorah was a bit low there at the back of the main group with Home Farm. Pepite Rose with those. But third intention, jumping up and over that one safely. Off the ground is being pulled up at the rear of the field, but they have now only three more to jump as they race for home. Third intention, bowling along still in front. Rebel Rebellion and Rolling Aces are still his nearest pursuers. Argo Cats around the outside of those. Alfarov is there. Pepite Rose towards the left for the yellow sleeve and then comes a menorah uh, with menorah his home farm is on the right with the stripes that ridden along a few fancy their chances here as they head down towards three from the finish and as they do so it's still third intention bowls along in front over it safely to Alfarov and Argo Cat and Menorah on the right coming into it. For Pete Rose is behind those as the leading quartet come round into the home straight. Here's Menorah, Richard Johnson on the right. Comes through to join third intention. Argo Cat behind those. Alfarov is next. Third intention is trying to fend off the challenge of Menorah, who's in the blue jacket, and they head down towards the last now. Menorah and third intention. Alfarov two lengths behind them. Up the hill they come. It's Menorah and Richard Johnson in front, trying to repeat last year's success. Alfarov is moving through to challenge. Menorah in front, Alfarov is closing, but Menorah has won it again.